Now, what I'd like to do is do something quite remarkable. Now I'm going to take the lamp. Going to place it up real close. Like so. Plug in some more power. So I think you've got to agree that what you're now viewing, and we've done it in real time, so no trickery involved here. We've got these flood lamps. If you don't think they're bright, Oops, there we are. We've just unplugged it. Plug it back in. As you can see, they are bright. Okay, you certainly wouldn't want to be uh, facing those. When we place it onto the screen like so, we've now got a screen that is basically white and useless, and yet we have some very bright lights hitting onto the screen. And we're getting a, a pretty remarkable performance now because do you notice something? Now no other screen company in the world is going to show you this. Exactly where the edge of the matte white screen is, on one side of the edge, matte white screen side, is basically no usable image. And yet on this side, there is an image. If I just move it out of the way a little bit, Pretty clever that. You can probably imagine a range of examples and opportunities that a technology like this delivers for you. If we just now zoom the camera in, you can see there absolutely without any trickery using a standard BenQ 4000 ANSI lumen projector with a lamp of, we estimate around about 3000 ANSI lumen since the lamp is now at its half-life, we're getting an image that we say is outstandingly commercially acceptable image. Whereas on a matte white screen, basically it's a waste of time, wasted space. And we've enhanced the test, the challenge, by placing these very bright lights that's very uncomfortable to look at directly onto the screen. In fact, I'll even, even move it closer. So now, essentially the screen and the lamp are almost touching. And even now, the screen is able to reject this brightness. Now this is real magic, folks. No one else will ever show you this test. They will always try and sell you a far brighter projector. But we're saying that if you get the screen right first, it's absolutely crucial. Get the right screen, and then everything else will follow in situ from that position. Now, I want to move the light even closer, and let's see what happens. If we had it any closer, we'd be able to be stuck to cook eggs. It's very hot to, uh, very, very hot. And I really just want to make a point here. So I think you uh, agree with me there that anyone who does that to a projection screen test um, is either very confident on what they're doing or in actual fact 
they are showing in an actual fact a remarkable product. So we have, I think, what are these lamps? Okay, so this is 5, 000, 500 watts each. So we've got a thousand lamp, found a thousand watts shining on the projector, and I can't actually look at that, that's too bright. And you can see it's completely washed out the matte white screen, and it's actually starting to get quite hot now. On the daytime screen, we can see, as one would expect, a bit of a glow hot spot here, but now I want to show you something quite remarkable. And remember, no other screen company in the world will demonstrate this, because they know they can't do it. So there we have it. You can see that the screen is actually able to reject the light even though we have 5,000 watts, a pair of 500 watts, 1,000 watts in total, directly onto the screen, and yet we're still getting an image, of course, not very usable here, but this is an extreme, extreme, extreme test because we really want to make a point here. And if we move it away, you can see what's happening. Move it in again, and move it out again. Move it in again, and now what I want to do is another little test, and get over here. Now what I want to do is actually show you the environment that we're filming in. So let me zoom that out. Pan it around. We've got overhead lights here in the studio. Now, what I'm going to now do is actually turn those lights off. And so now we're in a essentially a darkened room apart from our flood lamps and our projector light. And now what I'll do next is actually unplug the 5,000 watts. So now we're just being lit up by the projection screen. So effectively we are in a completely dark room now. If you found this video of interest and you have a digital display project, we look forward to hearing from you. Our contact details are following and in the accompanying text. Be sure to subscribe to our video channel and follow us on our various social media channels.